In this body paint quick tip, I will show you how to create perfect UVs for a very common type of geometry, a container lid. So, let's dive right in and do some UVing. Let's begin by modeling a lid inside Cinema 4D. I have this rectangle spline, which has a width of 20 by 10 and a radius of 1 in the corners. And I'm going to add a extrude object and drag it underneath here and you will see that this is a big flat mess. Let me activate my lines and tell the extrude that you want this to have a height of 1 on the Y and 0 on the Z. Excellent. Then in the caps, I want a fillet and I want a fillet cap on top. Of course, this is going to be something like 0.1 and 0.1. Excellent. And I want three and three subdivisions. Excellent. So you can see that my lid is open from the bottom. It's closed from the top. And this looks fantastic. Now let's drag this polka dot material I have on my object. And you will see that although the top cap looks fantastic, the sides are horrific because uh, the automatic UVs created by the extrude generator are not good enough. So let's do some UV unwrapping. So select this guy, press C to make him editable. And uh, of course, I'm going to undo because I forgot when I select the extrude object to go here and say create single object. And when I make this editable, it will actually create a single object out of it. Fantastic. So if I shift double click on my UVs, you will see that they are a pretty mess. They don't really make sense. So let's go and fix this. So let's go to the UV edit layout. And what we need to do here is make sure that my object is selected. Go to this little button, which represents the UV polygons, not the 3D polygons, and press Command A or Control A to select all UV polygons. Now let's go to the top view. And this is because we have a direct flat view of the biggest part of our object, which is the top part of the lid. And all you need to do is go to the projection with the top view selected or with the top view maximized and click frontal. And now we have a representation of our UVs as they are viewed from this view up here. Fantastic. So what do we do next? Well, what do we do next is very simple. We need to go to our 3D polygons, select the top polygon, the one we're viewing directly, and then command or control click on the point so that we convert the polygon selection to a point selection. And the reason we select these points up here, which we can do it manually if we want, is because we want to pin these points. So how do we do that? Well, go back to your UV polygons. The points are still selected internally. Select all your UV polygons. And again, the points are still selected. And go to the Relax UV tab and do the following. Turn everything off except for the pin point selection and just press apply. What this will do is pin down the UV polygon that contains those points and try to stretch out everything else. Excellent. Now I want this to occupy the width of my UV tile and to do that go optimal mapping and just say realign, preserve orientation and equalize island size apply this, and it's going to grow to the limits of our UV tile. Excellent. Let's go back to my standard layout. Let's maximize this view, and you will see now that we have very nice polka dots all around, and we have a very slight distortion here where this looks a bit skinnier, and that is technique number one. Technique number two two is to avoid any distortion, but there is a small limitation. And what do we do in this case? Well, we keep these points because we're going to use a similar method, but then I need to go and select some edges. So go to the edge selection tool, zoom in here and go to your select tools and select the ring selection. And what this would do, it will allow you to select all, as you can see, polygons going down here. So I'm going to click on this, then shift click here, shift click, shift click, go all the way down, shift click, shift click, and shift click. And I've selected all these rib 
edges, I call them rib edges, for no apparent reason. They look like ribs, or don't they? Anyway, so from top to bottom, I've selected all these edges. So now we have a point selection from the top polygon, an edge selection for all these vertical edges, and I'm going to go back to my UV edit. So just like previously, although we've already done it, I'm going to do it again. Go to your UV polygons, select them all, go to your top view and maximize it. Go to your projection and do a frontal projection. So we're back to that square one, the same thing we did before. And now in Relax UV, just turn on the cut selected edges as well. So the unwrapper is going to pin the points we have selected and it's going to release by cutting all those UV edges. Apply and let's zoom in and see what happened. Now you can see that these UV polygons are not connected anymore. And this is exactly what you will do if you were making this out of cardboard. This method, because it releases the UV polygons from each other, it allows them to flow easily when we're unwrapping them. So we have zero distortion. So let's go back to our standard view. Let's go to our 3D view. And now we have here no distortion whatsoever, but we have this sliced look. If your artwork does not have graphics on these areas here, then you won't have a problem. And believe me, a lot of design companies, when they make lids and so forth, avoid putting important graphics in these areas. Anyway, now you have two very particular techniques which you can use based on your needs.